Which type of joint is the shoulder joint? Your options are hinge, ball and socket, pivot or saddle. The correct answer is B that is ball and socket. The shoulder joint is a ball and socket joint which allows for a wide range of rotational movement in almost every direction. This joint consists of the ball shaped head of the humerus fitting into the shallow socket of the scapula. Question number 2. What type of joint is found in the knee? Your options are hinge, fibrous, pivot or saddle. The correct answer is A that is hinge. The knee is a hinge joint which primarily allows for movement in one plane. It consists of the femur, tibia, patella and is stabilized by ligaments. Question number 3. Which joint type is found between the first and second cervical vertebrae? Your options are hinge, synovial, pivot or saddle. The correct answer is C that is pivot. The joint between the first and second, the atlas and the axis, cervical vertebrae is a pivot joint. This type of joint allows for rotational movement enabling the head to turn from side to side. Question number 4. The joints in the fingers are classified as which type of joint? Your options are hinge, syndesmosis, fibrous or saddle. The correct answer is A that is hinge. The interphalangeal joints in the fingers are hinge joints. They allow flexion and extension, enabling the fingers to bend and straighten. Question number fifth. Which joint type is the hip joint? Your options are hinge, ball and socket, pivot or saddle. The correct answer is B that is ball and socket. The hip joint is a ball and socket joint, allowing for a wide range of motions in multiple directions. The rounded head, the rounded head of the femur fits into the acetabulum of the pelvis. Question number 6. The joint between the distal ends of the tibia and fibula is known as? Your options are hinge, ball and socket, pivot or syndesmosis. The correct answer is D that is syndesmosis. The distal tibiofibular joint is a syndesmosis type of fibrous joint where bones are joined by an interosseous ligament or membrane allowing very little movement. Question number 7. What type of joint is found in the wrist? Your options are hinge, ball and socket, pivot or candeloid. The correct answer is D that is candeloid. The wrist joint or radiocarpal joint is a candeloid joint. This type allows movement in two planes, flexion, extension and abduction and adduction. Question number 8. Which joint type is involved in the movement of the thumb? Your options are hinge ball and socket, pivot or saddle. The correct answer is D that is saddle. 
The thumb joint, specifically the carpometacarpal joint, is a saddle joint. It allows for a greater range of motions, including apposition, which is critical for grasping objects. Question number nine: The sutures of the skull are example of which type of joint? The options are hinge. ball and socket fibrous or synovial the correct answer is c that is fibrous sutures are fibrous joints found between the bones of the skull these joints are immovable and connected by dense fibrous connective tissue question number 10 The elbow joint is an example of which type of joint? The options are hinge, ball and socket, pivot or saddle. The correct answer is A that is hinge. The elbow joint is a hinge joint that allows for flexion and extension of the forearm. It consists of humerus ulna and radius question number 11 hello friends welcome back to dear competitive exam youtube channel today you are attending 100 most repeated and most important question answer session based on human joints and this is the part 1 of this series that everyone must know who are in the medical and nursing field so do watch this video completely to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of questions and at the end if you find this video helpful then please do like subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams let's continue question number 11 dear friends there is one more announcement Dear friends as per your suggestions we have started a new youtube channel where we are conducting exam or assessment based on science topics i'm sure that those videos will help you a lot to prepare for upcoming science or medical even neat exams where we help you to gain knowledge and confidence attending plenty quizzes based on science and neat exams If you really want to know how confident you are in the science and medical exams then please visit and attend the test over there and the link of the channel has been given in the description let's continue question number 11 what type of joint is the temporomandibular joint tmj the options are hinge ball and socket condyloid or pivot The correct answer is C that is condyloid. The TMJ which is known as temporal mandibular joint which is known as temporomandibular joint TMJ is a condylar joint which allows for movement in two planes hinge like movements and sliding movements. Question number 12 What type of joint is the ankle joint? The options are hinge, ball and socket, pivot, or saddle. The correct answer is A. That is hinge. The ankle joint or talocrural joint is a hinge joint that allows for dorsiflexion. That allows for dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. is a hinge joint is a hinge joint that allows for dorsiflexion and plantar flexion question number 13 the joints between the bones of the vertebral column are classified as hinge ball and socket cartilaginous or pivot The correct answer is C that is cartilaginous. The intervertebral joints are cartilaginous. Specifically symphysis allowing limited movement and providing cushioning. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन विच ज्वाइंट टाइप इज द मेटा कैरफो फेलेंजियल ज्वाइंट दैट इज नोन एज नकल ज्वाइंट यू ऑप्शन सा हिंज बॉल एंड सॉकेट कॉन्डिलॉइड और पाइवुड The correct answer is C. That is condyloid. The metacarpophalangeal joints are condylar joints that allow movement in two planes: flexion, extension, and abduction, adduction. Question number fifteen. The pubic symphysis is an example of which type of joint? Your options are hinge. बॉल एंड सॉकेट कैरटिलेजिनियस कैरटिलेजिनियस और साइनोवियल द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी दट इज कैरटिलेजिनियस द प्यूबिक सिंफोसिस इज अ कैरटिलेजिनियस ज्वाइंट वेर द टू प्यूबिक बोन्स आर ज्वाइंट बाय फिब्रो कैरटिलेज अलाउविंग वेरी लिमिटेड मोमेंट्स Question number sixteen: Which type of joint is the radio alar joint? Your options are hinge, ball and socket, pivot, or saddle. The correct answer is C. That is pivot. The proximal and distal radio alar joints are pivot joints. allowing the radius to rotate around the ulna enabling pronation and supination of the forearm question number 17 the acromioclavicular joint is what type of joint your options are hinge ball and socket plane or saddle the correct answer is c that is plane the acromioclavicular joint is a plane joint which allows gliding movements between the acromion of the scapula and the clavicle question number 18 what type of joint is found in the hip joint your options are hinge ball and socket pivot or saddle the correct answer is b that is ball and socket the hip joint is a ball and socket joint allowing for a wide range of movement including flexion extension abduction adduction and rotation question number 19 the carpo metacarpal joint of the thumb is an example of which type of joint Your options are hinge, ball and socket, saddle, or condylide. The correct answer is C. That is saddle. The carpal metacarpal joint of the thumb is a saddle joint, allowing for a wide range of movements, including a position which is essential for gripping. Question number twenty. The interphalangeal joint of the toes are which type of joints? Your options are hinge, ball and socket, pivot, or saddle. The correct answer is A. That is hinge. The interphalangeal joints of the toes are hinge joints, allowing for flexion and extension of the toes. Question number twenty-one. Which type of joint is the atlanto occipital joint? Your options are hinge, ball and socket, condyloid, or pivot. The correct answer is C. That is condyloid. The atlanto occipital joint is a condylar joint, allowing for nodding and lateral movement of the head. Question number twenty-two. 
द सैक्रोइलियक ज्वाइंट इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ विच टाइप ऑफ ज्वाइंट यू ऑप्शन सर हिंज बॉल एंड सॉकेट प्लेन और पाइवेट द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी दट इज प्लेन द सैक्रोइलियक ज्वाइंट इज अ प्लेन ज्वाइंट allowing for very limited gliding moments between the sacrum and the ilium question number 23 which joint type is found in the knuckles your options are hinge ball and socket condyloid or saddle The correct answer is C. That is condyloid. The knuckles or metacarpophalangeal joints are condylar joints, allowing for movements in two planes: flexion, extension, and abduction and adduction. Question number twenty-four. The joints between the bones of the skull are classified as. Your options are hinge, ball and socket. fibrous or synovial the correct answer is c that is fibrous the joints between the bones of the skull are fibrous joints specifically sutures which are immovable and joined by dense fibrous connective tissue question number 25 which type of joint is the elbow joint your options are hinge ball and socket pivot or saddle the correct answer is a that is hinge the elbow joint is a hinge joint allowing for flexion and extension of the forearm friends it is a time to comment your score out of 25 questions and friends thanks for joining us on this exciting journey if you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field until the next time stay curious stay healthy see you take care